morning, I'm going to drive up here quite a lot and I just noticed the empty time. Like, look at this, it's like literally Crick Lane Lake. It's actually Crick Lane North Lake. It's famous for having like the largest population of snakes and fritillaries in the UK. And they are reliant on it flooding, this is the Thames flooding. For the fritillaries to come back and there's other things in there and that creates a sort of just wildfire like this. But I can't help but think that like potentially this year, or well next year, it floods so much that they won't actually flower. And it led, led me to like talk to Lucas like on the way we were going to work this morning. And I was talking about um, salt marshes and tree line being um, indicators of like climate change. It's like the rising sea level. So my friend Thomas used to go around as part of his job visiting salt marshes around the UK. And how is they a signifier of like, climate change? If you think about the sea reaching a river in the brackish area away from the estuary, and basically where the salt marsh basically recedes and progress, you can see where the water, water level would like, um, water level rises and flows. And, Check that for our species, you can tell what's what. That's articulate. It's not busy. Um, and in regards to the tree line, the boreal forest that links like the whole between Russia, Poland, and it goes to Canada, so the whole top, the top of the world, the boreal forest, is considered the tree line, and how um, the trees are actually starting to go into the, uh, and, uh, the Arctic and Antarctica as the ice melts go into the Arctic, so the tree line is actually progressing upwards, which is a sign of climate change as well. And then, for example, if you take a look at this on a local, just on a local level in the outskirts of the Cotswolds, North Meadow, it's basically like this is happening more and more. Like you need, you need floodplains. Like hence, this is one of the last floodplain areas you will have in the UK. Hence, all the snakes and fritillaries. But it's too much, and they, they, if they can't, they're not going to flower underneath this. I mean, they've got until March, April to sort themselves out. But if it continues, so we have a mild winter. I mean, in a wet spring, it'll just be the same thing again. Um, it's not doom and gloom. Well, I don't know. Maybe we'll just like get gills and like web feet and stuff. And like, you know, water world. You can have a Kevin Costner. 